Welcome today again to this uh, channel. Today we'll see how to create Tyson Polygon for uh, ring field data, as well as also how to use uh, multiple ring uh, buffer to buffer point data and uh, reverb. So for our exercise, let us import data here. Those three data are data we use for today's exercise. Paging the station, uh, mojo shape file, reverse and shape file. Then here we have three data. We have a gauging station, station, station 1, station 2, station 3, reverse uh, data. Here, this one is reverse. And uh, Mojo watershed is the watershed data. Let's start with uh, creating this and polygon. So, to create this and polygon, here under Arc Toolbox, we have Analyze Tool, under Analyze Tool, Proximity there. Under proximity, we click here to create this and polygon. So, input features is uh, Gauging a station which is point data, and also we have to locate output future class here. So let's say here they send polygon, then save. Now we can change this uh, output field as old or only field and uh, come to environment here. So we will assign processing extents. So for processing extents, let us use Mojo Water Search and also go down to raster analysis and uh, mask with mojo watershed then okay then okay it's running so this one is a taste and uh, polygon created for uh, this uh, three gauging station but it is not uh, cropped to the watershed so to crop to watershed go to the extracts then clip here and the input data is a taste and polygon data and the clipping feature is a uh, watershed and uh, we have to assign also output a uh, feature class so let us say this in polygon for mojo then okay then okay and when you deselect this one this one is what this in a uh, polygon uh, prepared from this uh, gauging uh, station and uh, here we can go to property and give the symbol for each uh, class so let use category and value so we'll have three we will have what three uh, section one polygon two and three polygon property here then we can use area for symbology so you can use even this one can be made to precision we can make like this Apply. Right. So okay. You can use uh, labeling here. You can use label here. Label here. Okay. And kilometer. We can change this one. Let me make it small. Then apply it. And okay. So it's assigned. And uh, another thing that uh, we are going to do in two their size is multiple uh, ring uh, buffering. For multiple ring buffering, we may use point data as raw data, river data, which is line data or polygon as a raw data. Let us uh, create multiple ring buffer for point data. So click here on multiple uh, ring buffer. So let's input the feature which is point data and uh, let us also assign output features where to locate and save. And let us assign the distance of buffering. So we'll have buffering zone at 2 and uh, 5 uh, kilometers for this we have to assign here the buffer units let us make it kilometer here then okay yeah you see this one is uh, the uh, point data that's buffered by uh, multiple ring and uh, let's do the same for river also which is a uh, line click here on uh, multiple ring buffer and uh, click here on river then let's save this one but first then save so we have to define the distance so let me make it uh, two which is two kilometers five which is five kilometer here and also let go down define the preferred units then okay turn it yeah we then check this one and you can see this one is river uh, the river is preferred 
with uh, multiple break. Then can create layouts for uh, this data as so usual. So we have to insert uh, the title and also we have to insert uh, North Zaro. We have to insert uh, legend, scale, bar, and uh, presence the outputs or uh, export our uh, data by preparing uh, map layouts. Thank you for uh, following. If you are interested with this video, please don't forget to uh, share, comment, like, and uh, subscribe to the channel.